Give me money if you call police, I detonate a bomb. That threat scrawled on a piece of paper by this suspect, James Keats, during a bank robbery in Amherst. And one week later, police say he did it again. But since October 2015, nothing. And that makes him one of Buffalo's most wanted. As our Hannah Bueller discovered, he'll go a long way to rob a bank. He could literally be anywhere in the United States. The FBI says 47-year-old James Keats robbed two banks in one week back in October of 2015 using the same brash tactics. He passed a note that threatened uh, the detonation of a bomb. On October 2nd, the FBI says Keats entered this M&T bank on Niagara Falls Boulevard in Amherst. Surveillance video captured him here wearing a sweatshirt, black pants, and a baseball cap. The FBI says Keats displayed this note to the cashier reading, do this now, count out 2,000 in tens, twenties, fifties, and a hundreds. Loose bill. Give them to me now. The bomb detonates when you call police. And the teller complied. Just seven days later, on October 9th, special agents say Keats entered the Northwest Bank in Olean using a similar note, took the money, and took off on a stolen bike. The FBI says Keats is no stranger to bank robberies. And the apprehension of Mr. Keats has been problematic because he lives a transient lifestyle. He's essentially homeless. Uh, he was convicted of a prior bank robbery in 1999 in which he walked from the state of Virginia to Lake Placid, New York and robbed the bank in that area. He's very comfortable existing in the woods, in the wilderness. So the traditional methods that we would use to, to try to find Mr. Keats are proving ineffective at this point. Special agents say during that 1999 bank robbery in Lake Placid, Keats pulled out a toy gun, forcing officers to shoot him in the shoulder. There's a high probability that he could resort to violence uh, when uh, an apprehension is uh, attempted. Keats is 5'10", 160 pounds. He has brown hair and green eyes. The FBI says he could be anywhere from western New York to Florida. And the Buffalo office of the FBI is offering a $5,000 reward for any information leading to his capture. Reporting in the studio, Hannah Bueller, 7 Eyewitness News.